Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow. Here we are, end of January, and our year is almost gone with the first month. And next thing you know, in a few days, it's going to be Groundhog's Day. And what is it? Groundhog's Day? Same day, over and over, same thing, over and over. So I hope now that I am here again on Hill Talk Tuesdays, you won't get beep. You won't be bored and you will keep coming back over and over because I will be. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Gevek. Hi, Adrian. How are you? It's so good to be here with you. Well, another week. It's been an incredible week. I hope you are having an amazing time, amazing week, successful and abundant since we just celebrated, we just entered the new year for the Chinese lunar year. And what is it that they say this year is going to be the year of the pig? No, I am not going to make a pig sound or a piggy sound, but I love it. It's as if I already feel, feel the abundance, feel the energy. I, I love piggies. Um, and I think pigs are so cute. Well, the little piglets, right? And but what is it that they represent? Cuteness, abundance, full. My grandmother used to say to me, may your luck be just like a trash can. And I did not understand for years and years until one day as I was more grown up, I said, thank you, Grandma, but what kind of a saying is that? And what she meant was, may your luck be as abundant as the trash that you have in your home because it's always full. It always fills up and then you empty it and then it keeps coming back and then you empty it. So today, I wish you a Chinese Lunar New Year, a Happy New Year for your year becoming more abundant, manifesting all your desires, and may this be a year of prosperity, right? Hmm. That said, I got, hi, Mark. How are you, love? Uh, Adrian says, oh, come on, please. I don't know what, oh, come on, please is about, but let's see what it is. Uh, thank you for sharing it. So today I'm going to be talking about what is it that we usually, I, you know I talk about evoke, embrace, evolve at all times, evoking what was, embracing what is, and evolving to what it is that we want. So what does that really mean? That means evoking, uh, just like Groundhog's Day, when they come and plow through and they make the holes and they come up from the earth and the gophers come up, it's digging or going in tapping within ourselves or just rewinding our life to our habits and behaviors and everything to see what it is that we want to change, edit, and manifest into our life. And by accepting it, by embracing who we are, by embracing our negativity or the behavior that we have, that is when we can make a change. This morning, I had a call. I had a call and I returned a call and it was this lady who wanted to, as she said, quit smoking. So when I called her, the first thing she said, do you speak Armenian? Of course, being an Armenian, I said yes. And we started speaking in Armenian. Within two minutes, uh, of me asking the questions of why is it that somebody wants to quit smoking or quit any habit? And why is it that they want to do it now? Uh, what is the motivation that now is better than six months ago or whenever? It's 
any change that we want to make, it's about our readiness. When we want to do any change, the doctors we go to, the therapists we see, or the people we are in a relationship with, it doesn't matter if it's a coach, if it is your dentist, if it is your therapist, or even your friend. There's got to be a connection. You create a bond. You create a trust. You create, when you are with them, you feel being in a safe place or in a safe space with them. Even with your dentist, you open your mouth and you allow them to give you a shot. You allow them to do all the dental work. So it's their energy, the way they are, their bedside manner, if it's not bed or their chair side manner. And the same thing with a therapist or any coach. So it is creating a relationship by connecting with this potential client who will be my client. It was creating the place, the safe space with her first by asking the right questions and allowing her to express why she wants to, in her versions, quit smoking, but we know we are not quitters, so stop smoking. So by spending 10 minutes of my time just listening, hearing her, giving her space to express, and I found out she, and I found and listened, and she became emotional and letting her know that smoking she is ready now because she had stopped smoking and now she wants to smoke again. And she started smoking and she wants to stop again is because in a way, smoking, eating, drinking, so many of our habits and behaviors truly are like a buddy system. When we are upset, when we need a crutch, we pick up certain crutches. Now, by understanding, evoking what the crutch is for, by evoking what is it that we needed that crutch for, that it's helping us feel good. You see, everything from relationships to behaviors and habits, it doesn't matter when we are in a relationship and it's not good for us, but we're still stuck in there or we want it. It's still feeding us something. We are benefiting in one way or another. If it is helping someone, if it is rekindling a love, if it is coming and um, being with that person, it's either they are giving you housing, they are giving you the credit cards, they are giving you the cars, or they are giving you a hug that you need. No matter what it is, either by a person or a habit, we always get something out of it, the benefit. So it's embracing all the benefits and saying yes. So in a way, we do a framework. Where am I? Why do I have what I have? Why do I want to release it or change it? That's the next step. And by understanding ourselves of why we needed it, why we want to make the change, now comes the most beautiful part. What is it that I want in my life? How do I want to feel if I were to let this go? How do I want to be if I were to let this go? So if I want... If this person wants to stop the smoking or quit smoking or quit doing anything, my question is, what do you want in your life? What do you want to manifest in your life? Because it's not necessarily replacing something in your life 
And for some people, it's a relationship. If you are not fulfilled, if you are not satisfied in a relationship, that's why you look outside, either workaholic, uh, or you go and exercise four hours a day after work, get home late, or whatever it is, it fulfills you with something better. And it's always something better because we all want to be happy we all want to be loved and it's understanding what is it that feeds you that makes you feel loved makes you feel wanted makes you feel fulfilled and that is what you want to manifest in your life so if the intention is I want to be happier, I want to be healthier, why? What is it that you are not healthy enough that you want to become healthier with and by? So if somebody wants to stop smoking, we feel the need. There is something missing. And it does not come from someone else. It comes from here. It comes from, if I needed that cigarette, what is it that I am not fulfilling inside me? You see, when we think about the mindset, the skill set, the heart set, we must bring that heart set inside the skills once i help her become a non-smoker those are the steps to do it this is the step and i talk about the steps is because this wonderful coach of mine uh, that i follow i listen to jason jg i usually listen to him and he's just you know, every one of us has a coach. Every one of us needs a mentor. Every one of us needs helpers without the people that we have in our life, right? Uh, either our assistants, and I have an incredible assistant that works as many hours, well, not as many hours as I do to help manifest my, uh, my work, my launch, everything thank you to adrian and it's always about saying thank you and being grateful to all the support system that we have in our life our families our support system some of our friends our support system our lover our boyfriend husband wife can be a support system so knowing that you have the support system but if you don't have a vision of why if you want to stop smoking or uh, become healthier, become thinner, become uh, wealthier, and why do you want to become wealthy? What is it? Is it the ego to feed your ego and say, yes, I have this much money? Or you create something that feeds or nourishes and helps others? Hmm? And that is the part that it feeds you more, fulfills you more. Because my client that is going to be a client, she said the right word. It's not the cigarette that I want. I feel lonely. That's it. She felt empty and lonely. Are we truly lonely? We can feel lonely. But if she were to truly look, loneliness is a feeling. Emptiness is a feeling. And it's that feeling that I help my clients fulfill. And fulfill from the inside out. And to know that they matter. Evolving to what it is that they want does not come from the outside. It never has 
it never will. No matter how much we bring things, buy things, it's so temporary. Drinking, smoking, eating, or even having intimacy with someone, it's absolutely amazing. We all need it. We all crave it. We all must have it to feel joy and fulfillment in our life. But then when you are laying in bed, even when someone is next to you, you can be very unhappy. They can be next to you and still feel an emptiness. One of the things that I do with my teenage uh, girls, clients who come, when we do the group for the teenage girls, I always say, embrace all the beauty and the glory that you are. This beautiful body of yours is truly a temple. And I want you to know it's this castle, it's this temple. And yes, you have this door that everyone wants to enter, either emotionally, mentally, physically, and walk in. But it's knowing who you allow through the gate. Who do you allow to enter into your castle through these gates? Because we are so vulnerable and it doesn't matter our age. We are all vulnerable, wanting to be loved, appreciated, and accepted. And that cigarette, that drink, the food until the last bite, Yes, it gives us satisfaction. Even that is temporary. The best thing is to know that you matter for you first, for the child within you. And you get to love you. And it's not the ego, it's to truly say, I truly appreciate myself. I value myself. I deserve better. And if you want to smoke, that's okay. If you want to have a drink, by all means, socially, go ahead and drink. Go ahead and smoke. Go ahead and shop. All of that. But not to fulfill a need, but to enjoy and have it as a, a hobby, a fun thing to do. Hmm? That's the difference. The difference is when we do things for fun or we do it as to satisfy an emptiness. So today, this very day, I want you to use this framework to become more heart set for yourself and the things that you have and say, I can do all that and feel good because I am happy. And if there is a need for any change to make, by all means, I'm right here, help you, guide you, support you, and hold space for you. Hmm? Yes, I do Skype. As a matter of fact, I have a client. Um, I have a client that every week at 8 o'clock in the morning, I do Skype call with her. She is in, uh, I have a client that is in Malaysia. Oh my God, what an incredible sessions we have in Malaysia. I have a client that I do Skype sessions from Chicago. So it doesn't matter. When we go into hypnosis, actually one of my clients loves it. Uh, she's in Chicago. And when we do session together, the beautiful part of it is because we do Skype, we shut down the video part. So all we do is just listen. Just listening and tapping into our heart, into our mind, without having this uh, visual part distorting. You know, some people are visual. But yet, when you close your eyes and tap within yourself and just 
listen to the words. Listen to the words not only I say when I take and I get into that state of hypnosis, a deep state of relaxation. It's tapping within yourself so you can just, it's like a maneuver within and examine all the intricate parts, detailed, beautiful, golden parts of you and know what feels good, what feels right, or whatever it is that you feel as there is a block that you, that's the part you want to let go. Hmm? That's what tapping within to heal within is. To manifest all that you want. Have a vision, have a goal, Smile about that. Become heart-centered. It feels so good. You can't wait the day in, day out to get up and say, that is, that is what I am working for. That is what I want to feel. That is what I want to create in my life. And the rest of the change is so easy. Because your mind, everything that we do consciously, it is the subconscious mind that governs, that controls, that rules, and says yes to you, and says, yes, I am ready for that change. And once the subconscious mind changes and believes in everything that you want, the happening already starts. So I help you tap within your subconscious mind in order for you to manifest the things you want consciously. That's how healing within begins. So you're breaking up just me. Am I breaking up? I'm going to go wherever I can share tonight, whatever it is. I am glad that, that you were with us and you are ready to go somewhere and then you will rejoin and watch the replay. For those of you who are here uh, live, thank you for being here live. And for those of you who are watching this or will be watching this as a replay, today's session was about manifesting what you want and filling up that emptiness or that empty spot with passion, with the good things that you want, and realize no one can fulfill it other than you. You make the choice and you make it happen. For today, I hope today's session was beneficial. I hope whatever it is that in your life you are ready to make a change, you choose me. Lisa Bubari, as your uh, expert hypnotherapist, that I treat you as a whole instead of just one issue and help you manifest all that you want so that you can evolve to all that you are ready to be. So today we end the month of January and I will be with you next week. Ah, yes, February 5th. Um, I may be late or I may come on. He'll do the Hill Talk Tuesday early in the morning because later at noon I have something else. So I will be live with you uh, next week, perhaps one hour earlier. And I look forward to answering all your questions and be with you. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, message me. Uh, you can also email me at info at healwithin.com or lisa b at healwithin.com. I look forward to receiving all your messages and responding. Uh, and in closure, all these videos 
will be repeated on my YouTube channel, which is the Lisa Bubari YouTube channel. You can always find me there. And until next week, I bid you goodbye. May God bless you and the universal light be with you. May you evoke, embrace, and evolve to what will be. You do matter. Good night.